Hi everyone, it's Jess and today I am going to bring you my wrap up for the month of April. I know we're now on the 9th of May, a bit late to this, but um, I have had loads of exams and loads of revision and everything else and I just haven't had time to film any videos. So finally, I am filming videos all on the same day, which is why I'm set reading which is why I'm wearing the same thing um, as I will be in a couple of other videos and I don't have any makeup on because hay fever is really horrible today and I don't fancy wearing any makeup and having my eyes itch and want to pull them out of my head so that is why it is a more simple look today um, but yeah let's get into my wrap up for April um, and you can see what books I read I'm going to show you them in the order of which I read them because I have written them down in my trusty little um, reading bullet journal thing that I have. So the first book that I read was, oh and finished, was Carnival by Stephanie Garber. I read this with a few girls on Instagram doing a buddy read and oh my god I enjoyed this from the beginning to end and it was so fun buddy reading with them on Instagram just because some people were ahead and just being like oh my god when you get to this chapter when you get to this page it will literally break you and you'll cry so like you're really anticipating getting to like that bit and knowing what's gonna happen and it happens and you cry and you're like oh my god and you react and everyone's like you have to keep reading just keep reading it like like you haven't hit the worst of it yet I oh my god I enjoyed this book so so much like so much I just the way it was written the descriptions that Stephanie puts into the story I absolutely loved I know some people don't enjoy it as much but I just loved it so like the way she describes things is like the emotions like a color so like the character looks at someone and sees like a color and then like it's really weird kind of like descriptions but it really works like it, you really um sort of like feel the whole story and the tagline kind of if that's what you call it from the story is remember it's only a game when you're reading this it is so difficult to remember it's only a game it's all the time you're constantly questioning is like is this part of the game is this actually happening is this real like you have no idea and it's there's so many twists and turns and I gave this book five stars and oh, I just wanted to read it all over again from when I put it down it was just so good I finished this book in about 24 hours and I've never ever ever done that before like ever so I used to finish a book it would take me like a whole year to like read one book when I wasn't really reading so reading a book in 24 hours is like huge for me I didn't do it all on the same day but it was like 24 hours over like two days um but yeah I would definitely recommend this book to absolutely everybody I know some people haven't enjoyed it more than others um but yeah this was a five star read for me and then the second book that I finished in the month of April was of fire and stars now if you have spoken to me if i have spoken to you about a favorite book or a book it will probably be a fire and stars i have told everybody that i love this book before i'd finished it which i know is like a huge sin because you haven't finished the book but i was loving it but for some reason i put it down and just didn't put it back like pick it back up again i don't know why i just picked up loads of other books but luckily I always kind of have a knack of putting books down and then picking them back up and knowing where I left them from. I know you kind of lose a bit of the emotion in the story, but I absolutely still really enjoyed this book, even when I'd put it down and picked it back up again. Just the way it's written. And I am not one for romance stories at all, but this romance is written so well that it just... It's like it's not even happening like you don't see it as a romance novel just because of the way it's written it's just so perfect and you just are so jealous of the romance that's happening it's just yeah and it's not all about the romance in the story there is like a whole background of like magic and all of that kind of stuff so that's really interesting as well 
and the ending I did not expect at all. I think I'm going to reread it and I went tabbing crazy on this. This was the first time I tabbed and I haven't done it since because I think it was a little bit daunting but I tabbed crazy on this book. Like crazy and you can see all the pink ones there. That is like all of the romance in the story. I absolutely love this hands down obviously I gave it five stars and then the third book slash graphic novel I read was Saga volume one and this shocked me I was not expecting it to be as explicit as it was I had heard so many people speak about Saga and loving it but it just shocked me a little bit I did really enjoy the story but I think just how explicit it was really kind of put me off slightly. I'm really excited to pick up the next one but I haven't done yet but the illustrations are really good I just kind of don't want to pick an explicit one because that would be bad but um, yeah it is rated it does say that it is rated like an adult or mature so if you are not a mature reader slash or probably like yeah under 18 I would yeah think about reading this or ask your parents if you could read this because it is quite explicit but I did enjoy it ended up giving it um, between like five three and a half and four stars the main reason because of like the writing and the just like the illustrations and things I did really enjoy them but it was just a bit too explicit for me which kind of dampened down the enjoyment a little bit but yeah I gave this book about four stars and then the fourth book that I finished in the month of April was Through the Looking Glass um, the second book in the Alice, Alice in Wonderland series would you call it that I don't really know but yeah I finished this book this month I finished the first book I think it was in March maybe um, and I re did really enjoy this actually I didn't enjoy it as much as I hoped to I don't think but then I said that about the first one I'm not hugely into classics and I think it was just the writing that I didn't enjoy um, too much in this book and it kind of was very different to the way that Alice in Wonderland was so I think I enjoyed Alice's Adventures in Wonderland more than Through the Looking Glass. Um, in the end I did give it three stars and it was pretty much three stars like across the board of how I like to review my books and if you would like to see how I decide on the star rating then give me a comment down below and I will definitely let you know but yeah I gave this one three stars in the end. And then the two books that I did read and are currently reading slash one of them I'm not reading anymore but anyway um the books that I did read but didn't finish in the month of April was Illuminate and A Game of Thrones so A Game of Thrones I am still reading I'm about a third of the way through and I really need to finish this and Illuminate I finished I think it was on the 6th so I'm gonna kind of count it in this wrap up because my next wrap up will be after kind of as well because of my challenge my 30 day challenge I'll put the description down below I'm not sure which order I'm going to upload these videos in but I finished Illuminae in um, eight, in May in May um, but I did read the majority of it in April as well um, I think maybe um, but yeah I did really enjoy this book the way that it is like written so like the illustrations and all of that kind of thing it's really interesting the way that it's all laid out the format in it is just unlike anything that I've read before and it just really sort of took me into the story and I know that there's a second one out so I'm definitely gonna buy that one soon um, but I also listened to this one so I like read along with the audiobook from Audible and oh my god the audiobook is amazing like it has um, like different characters have different people so I have like different voices so different people are doing the different characters and it has like music in the background and this adds all the suspense and things like that and does all the like it makes so sure it has pauses in the right place for me I did find it a little bit slow so I did speed it up on audible um, so I could get through it a little bit quicker um, but the audiobook was just amazing I think it really added to the story um, 
because sometimes on the pages it's a little bit hard to kind of like judge what you're supposed to be reading when so having the audiobook kind of like really guided you through and um, really helped me through it actually um, but yeah really enjoyed this one um, and I really yeah I really enjoyed this one and will definitely be getting Gemini so that is all the books that I have read thus far since my last wrap up and all of the books majority that I read in April and I shall speak to you guys down in the comments until my next video um so yeah see you again see you guys mm -hmm.